Alabama state lawmakers pushing to address Alabama's opioid problem. House Bill 479 passed committee just hours ago. It'll allocate $30 million to opioid prevention, treatment, and recovery efforts across the state. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us live now. Paige, you spoke with the state representative who filed this bill. What update do you have for us? Dan Marie, Representative Rex Reynolds says it's unfortunate that Alabama has an opioid problem. He says this funding will provide an opportunity to people struggling with addiction and provide recovery efforts to save lives here in North Alabama. Now, opioids are a class of drugs that include synthetic opioids such as fentanyl and pain relievers available legally by prescription. In Alabama, opioids are a factor in almost half of overdose deaths. In 2023, Representative Rex Reynolds entered a House joint resolution that created the Opioid Oversight Commission to oversee the settlement funds. Yesterday, the Alabama legislature received House Bill 479, the $30 million settlement appropriation funding the statewide investment plan. Now, with the bill passing committee today, Reynolds is glad to see additional funds potentially going into programs that will help people right here in our community. Yeah, I see the impact on all of our, our state agencies. So anything we can do on the prevention side and treatment of, the, of those suffering and prevent those that for, for ever uh, getting involved in the opioid use, then you know, that, that saves state dollars. And, you know, as, as the commissioner of mental health said, you know, we're not only changing lives, we're saving lives. Reynolds says this bill will expand opioid prevention, treatment, and recovery into K-12 through and higher education. $3 million will also be going to the 988 crisis hotline and suicide prevention program. Reynolds hopes this bill will be in the budget committee and then to the full legislative calendar next week. He hopes everything goes smoothly through the House and the Senate to get these funds to those providing treatment. Now, if you or a loved one needs immediate assistance, you can call or text 988. Now, coming up on Way 31 News at 5, I spoke to Wellstone about how this bill will affect here, those right here in our community struggling with addiction. But for now, reporting live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.